Erectile dysfunction is the most common issue that impacts most guys at one point in their lives. Dr. Human, what are the underlying factors that can contribute to erectile dysfunction? So erectile dysfunction is pretty easy to treat once you figure out what the causes are. So it all comes down to four things. There's four causes to erectile dysfunction. Number one, blood flow. So issues with blood flow, diabetes, high cholesterol levels, hypertension, and then lifestyle factors like smoking that could really decrease the amount of blood flow that goes to the penis. Number two, hormone levels. So primarily testosterone being the big hormone, but estrogen also is an important hormone that's involved in erectile dysfunction. So you always wanna check your hormone levels to make sure you're not having any abnormalities there if you are experiencing erectile dysfunction. The third one is uh, nerve function. So the connection between the brain and the penis is generally very sensitive. So if you have any history of brain injury, concussion, spinal cord injury, back injuries, or even sp uh, pelvic surgeries, that could really mess with the conduction between, of the nerves between the brain and the penis. And finally, the fourth one, this is the main one like we talked about, about with young guys, psychogenic, it's the mental aspect of it. So um, having stress and anxiety associated with your erections can really throw things off. And again, that's the main one with young guys.